Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about unit tests. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, does writing unit tests take almost always as much time as writing the implementation logic for a software engineer? Not always, uh, but it definitely takes time. Uh, I've had that question many times uh, posed to me by different software developers of different quality where they they have this idea that unit test takes longer therefore I shouldn't do it because I need to get stuff done and so the the way that I usually tell them that the like the, and this is it sounds like a cliche but it is true to a certain to a certain point it's not a hundred percent true but there is this uh, this sentiment saying that if your tests are difficult to write it's because your code is poorly written and to a point that is true I wouldn't say that it's an absolute rule or anything like that but it is there's a grain of truth in that and what I see quite often with subpar developers uh, who I argue is uh, is ha sort of has this this sentiment uh, that uh, testing takes diff it takes as long as writing the logic and you know if I just do manual testing that's fine like where w what happens with them is that th the problem is that they can't actually see that the reason why everything is taking longer for them in the testing area is usually because they're not good they're no good at it the reality is that simple they're no good at it and so it takes longer you're never gonna absolutely you're a hundred percent true is sure I uh, yeah, can guarantee that you will never ever of course be able to write all the implementation logic plus the testing and then make that as fast as just writing the implementation logic because there's more to do like physically more to do with the testing but if you consider the time it takes in bugs refactor risk and general confusion for other people and so forth the net gain if you do this correctly should show that this is actually a worthwhile investment that's the entire idea behind writing tests or in this case it's just unit tests but that is the point of it and so it's really difficult to I find and I find it all the time to f uh, to to get people into this idea that it does not matter if writing a test takes slightly longer or if it takes as long as the implementation logic because the total time that you have invested is still lower than if you don't write the test that's not as I said all 100% true all the time and that's why people do the thing that I hate that they do which is that they start short of feeling it out is this worth testing is that worth testing and that inevitably always leads to the same reason why most of the planet is fat you just play it by ear and you're not your gut feeling always lies and you always eat too much because you don't measure things and you don't have a routine you don't have anything is the why nobody goes to the gym except on Mondays after Christmas Eve or uh, New Year, New Year's Monday New Year's uh, after New Year's, it's the that's the problem because as soon as you start trying to figure out if you have to do it or you don't have to do it, you inevitably come to a situation where you stop doing it for sooner or later, or you do it really shittily because as I said, writing tests and doing it well and then having code that fits into that overall framework, like that makes you a better software developer, but it requires practice because you can be a decent software developer but you can write shit code if you want to see proof of that go and talk to any data scientist I, I'm, I'm sorry data scientist I'm just saying that I've always had issues in every time I go take a computer science course like a real data science course or I work talk with two coworkers yeah your coding style I'm sorry you're very smart but the coding yeah you have your complete different way of doing it and it's the same thing with like some people who just do ops and like do shell scripting and stuff like that if you are a software engineer you usually like care about 
you know readability and quality of the way that you design everything and so forth and so forth and some roles don't do that as much and this is the thing that I have a lot of problems with especially with the front-end developers holy shit this is a problem for front-end developers because they are not forced to write unit tests they never practice and they never get any good at it and the code suffers for it and the implementation although it might be quick uh, quicker to do it the time they never as I said they never measure the time it takes for people to maintain a shitty system because if you do this these things correctly the time things break or the time it takes to fix a specific component is the same thing with shitty architecture if you do a shitty job everything takes longer because you have more time spent on fixing bugs you have longer times for people to figure out what to do because they're scared to make changes to the system or if they make a change there's regressions and they have to fix those etc etc and the the, the fundamental problem is as, as a, a sort of the analogy I did with the fitness thing is actually to me the thing that makes more sense it's it's a question of fitness basically that determines how long it takes for you to write your tests because if you are good at writing tests and testing what is appropriate and like you not just being religious about it, it's sort of like a learning experience just as it, it's you can almost think of it as a separate type of experience that as to learning how to code so when you start writing code you really shit at it and it doesn't go so well and then you have to practice and practice and practice and then you get better at it mm -hmm. testing is basically the same sort of deal because first you learn how to write just the right code to get something to work but if you have testing involved you put other restrictions on yourself and now you have to re sort of realize all right, I need to shape the way I write my code so that it becomes cleaner and more maintainable, testable, etc., etc. And then you have to know how do I write efficient tests. So that is an optimized part of you. It's like learning different skill sets in a sense and being good at different things. And if you're weak with the testing, you have, of course, it's going to take as long as the implementation logic. But if you're really good at it, it doesn't take that long. But the net time, like the time uh, like you're 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 going to uh, to spend like the overall time you're going to spend on maintaining the issues and handling all the fallout from not doing these quality checks and so 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 forth is going to not just be measured in the fact that you don't have a safe environment to check if like your tests are running and like something changed and something broke that's one part of it but as i said it's most likely also an indicator that your way of writing code is kind of shit because the as i said if if you don't write it's like writing um, having a bad architecture everything will be more difficult for you and everything will take longer to debug and fix and so forth and so forth just because your action probably writing shitty software in the first place because the testing should be simple and maybe in, uh, well as I said, when you do it well, it never takes as long as the implementation logic. The test is usually faster to write than the actual uh, logic itself, but that is only true either if you know what you're doing, or, well, the business logic that you had wasn't all that complicated in the first place, and testing it is even more trivial. So what I want you to take away from this is that on average um, writing unit tests does, should not take as long as writing the implementation logic. But I mean, if you disc if you create a button or something like that, or if you create like a single REST call that's going to connect to a database and like fetch some data or something like that, and you have to write like set up all the mocking and like all the interface and boilerplate that comes with the unit test suite. Yes, in theory, you can make that test uh, the writing of that test take longer than the actual implementation. But my point be what well, the thing I want to capture is that the problem is usually that when it takes a very long time to write tests it is because you're no good at it because you don't just get good at it 
you t have to practice at, at it and it's more likely an indicator that if you're testing and like all this time actually takes a lot longer for you than the implementation itself it's very likely has it has more to do with the fact that you're not as good at this thing as you might think that you are and you will only get better you can only improve if you actually practice doing it and this is something that a lot of software developers just sort of skip because as I said they start getting into this idea that oh it's more important that I ship really quickly than it is for me to write the test but as I said if you actually apply that mentality it's very similar to a pharmaceutical company saying that it's cheaper for us to pay all the fines and all the lawsuits and not test our medicine and then just have people die or get diseases from that medicine it's the same idea you are thinking that if you can you can sh cut corners and skip the testing and like do all the quality checks you can skip that because that lets you ship really quickly right now but every time you do that you add to the net time it's going to take to fix bugs for other people to contribute and in many cases the overall health of the system which slows down future feature development that is the cost that is being that you're not measuring and very few people understand that if you measure the total time it's usually magnitudes of difference in terms of how long it takes you to write a unit test versus how long it actually takes to you to just maintain the system but sure you can make an argument for that they can basically take the, take this in the same amount of time but i don't think that that i th i think that that's a very narrow point of view to say that uh, it always takes as long because in my opinion it really just comes down to mm -hmm. testing code is usually faster uh, than writing the implementation logic as long as you actually are good at it and on average at the very least have a great day